a very difficult day for family, friends, and fellow officers as they deal with the death of Officer Scott Patrick. The Mendota Heights police officer was killed yesterday during a traffic stop. A memorial for Officer Patrick has quickly grown today at the site of the shooting in West St. Paul. Funeral plans for the 47-year-old are expected to be finalized tomorrow. Today, the investigative work continues to bring his suspected shooter to justice. Police say that Brian Fitch Sr. is still in the hospital in serious condition. We have team coverage of the shooting today, including Rachel Slavic, with more on how the family is holding up. But first, Bill Hudson is at the St. Paul Police Department where an update was given on the investigation. Bill? That's right, Amelia. Uh, the agency's just wrapped up a joint briefing detailing the best they can at this point uh, what led up to the shooting of Officer Patrick, as well as last night's apprehension of the man they believe is responsible for his death. However, they also expressed a great deal of relief that more officers were not gunned down. We are confident based on a number of factors that Mr. Fitch is our suspect. Under police guard at Regions Hospital, Brian Fitch Sr. and a female companion are recovering from gunshots, wounds that brought this tragic day to a violent end. The suspect is in custody and we are not looking for any additional suspects. Officer Scott Patrick was making a routine traffic stop near Dodd Road and Smith Avenue when he was felled by a hail of gunfire. Investigators say it's unclear why Fitch wanted under a felony warrant was being stopped. At this point, we do not know what that initial reason f for was, and to be honest with you, we may never know. A dramatic chase of a vehicle matching the gunman's getaway car was unrelated, but then hours later, police finally found the car they were looking for. It was abandoned. Finally, a public tip led them to a neighborhood where Fitch was with a woman, Kelly Lee Hardy. They were driving an SUV. Unable to escape police, he got out and opened fire. When officers returned fire, both were struck, and a dangerous pursuit was finally over. This was a, really a traumatic day. Um, we could have lost a lot more guys, but we didn't. Uh, very emotional, Sergeant Paulus there uh, speaking about that. Now, we should uh, also tell you again, they did recover a handgun from the scene after it was all over last night. Of course, that gun will have to be tested, uh, ballistic test done at the BCA to determine if it is indeed the same gun that uh, felled Officer Patrick. Amelia? Well, Bill, I remember yesterday we heard that others were arrested in connection to the case. Did police talk about that anymore? They did. We asked them about uh, th at least three other people who were uh, looked like they were put into squads and driven off. Now, police made it very clear they were not arrested. The only person arrested was uh, Fitch. However, they say those people were detained, possibly as material witnesses for the case. But again, the only suspect in this case is uh, Brian Fitch. We'll find out for sure tomorrow when those charges come down. All right. Thank you, Bill. Sure thing.